you so much for tuning in once again and this time I'm in Germany. So we were looking for a place to go in between talks and Adam wanted to do Berlin because last week I had an event in Rome, which you can check out the video here, I think. And then next week I'll be speaking in Israel. I'll admit that at first I wasn't too excited about coming to Berlin, given the dark history of this country and especially being Jewish. But I am so glad that we came. Shockingly, this has been five days of pure joy for both of us. I'm personally blown away by this city and here are four reasons why. Number one, as an art director, I'm amazed by the design here. Logos, display windows, packaging, signs, interior design, menus, coffee shops, rooftops. It took me hours to get from point A to point B, point B being a block away. And I'm not exaggerating. So the subway here is really pretty. You have to see. Like it has patterns and it's the yellow. And I love yellow. It's coming. Number two, the food here. Oh my God, there are so many cultures in this city that we got to experience food from all over. And yes, we ate schnitzel three times in a period of five days. Number three, the people. I had no idea what to expect. I would have said cold, rigid, and serious if I had to pick three characteristics, but not at all. They were kind, helpful, respectful, forward thinkers, open-minded, multicultural, and full of life. Plus, they had amazing taste. And finally, their values, modern values. We were impressed by the amount of reminders that we saw around the city about what happened in the past during the Nazi period. They placed so much emphasis on acknowledging and exposing their horrific role in history that you can feel the sense of responsibility and respect. We can tell that this is a society of progress that cares about doing things right this time around. They care about their people as well as being inclusive of other cultures. Their leader is a woman, for God's sakes. If this city gave us one thing, it would be hope. Hope for our own country, Venezuela. And I know we can't even begin to compare scenarios, but watching this evolution gave me the hope that one day, hopefully soon, we will see Venezuela as a forward-thinking nation with strong values and, who knows, maybe even a female president. 